everyone and welcome in. Hope everyone is doing well. Positive healing vibes to all the subscribers, the viewers, and the world out there. Today we're looking into Virgo's broken heart reading for the month of July. In this message, Virgo, we're going to tap into the energy surrounding you, the energy surrounding your person. We're going to see what's challenging this between the two of you. Then we're going to dive deeper into the energy in this portion of the message. We'll look at how they view the challenge, what their true intentions are moving forward, anything that's hidden that you need to be made aware of, and where this is headed if you stay in this energy. I'm going to clarify throughout the message. I'll pull a few cards at the end for advice. Moving forward, if that's something you're interested in, you're more than welcome in joining us. Also, guys, if you like the vibe, how I interpret the cards, you're more than welcome to subscribe to the channel. Everyone's welcome here, and it does help to set intentions for future messages. So, Virgo, let's jump in and see what we can see for your upcoming energy for this month. Most important message here for Virgo spirit. What do my Virgo friends need to know? Virgo. So there's a lot of confusion here between you and this person. Um, I feel here both of you may have options. Okay. Both of you have been moving in a new direction. Okay. But I feel here there's still an attachment. You guys are still being drawn to one another for whatever reason. Okay. And I feel here there's going to be an opportunity for you and this person to come together. Now, how you utilize this opportunity is going to be up to you. And we're going to dive deeper into the cards to see how you should move forward. But the energy that's on the bottom of the deck is the Ace of Pentacles. Okay. This is a new beginning. A new beginning to move forward, to let your guard down, to communicate. However, is this something that you can get past is what we have to really address here. Okay, the energy surrounding you this month, Virgo, we have the five of cups, the page of cups and the tower. So it's almost as if you're looking back at the situation. And I honestly feel here, Virgo, either you're regretting the decisions that you've made or you're resenting this person for the decision that they've made. Okay. And I do feel here there was, you know, a back and forth type of an energy. That was coming out here. We have the Knight of Wands present. The energy surrounding your person, I feel like they're in a very stable position. I feel like they're moving forward, maybe even traveling, doing some thinking, some contemplating. I feel here, though, Virgo, when they're thinking, contemplating, it's almost as if they're always thinking about you. They're always thinking about this connection um, and how to move things forward here, how to at least reconcile these differences. Now, the challenge, the Knight of Wands, the Strength, and the Seven of Cups, that back and forth energy, a lot of confusion, a lot of uncertainty, and really kind of accepting and moving forward. Maybe this isn't your person or this isn't the right time. So let's clarify for you, Virgo. Now, if you find the messages helpful or resonating, please give it a thumbs up. We're going to start by clarifying the Five of Cups, the Page of Cups with the Tower. For Virgo's energy, what do my Virgo friends need to know? Virgo, I feel like there has been a moment in time within this connection that maybe you are putting up a fight, you are trying to get this person's attention, um, 
by going after other people that they were intertwined with. And even though your intentions were good, you thought that this was your person and you were trying to let everybody know where you stood. This person wasn't in the same position. And I feel here it almost like tarnished your reputation or made people look at you in a different light. Let's clarify the chariot, the four of swords, the nine of pentacles. And I do feel here, Virgo, that you had good intentions when you were announcing your love for this person when you were going and telling everybody that you and this person were together but I don't feel like this person was in that same position and maybe that's not what they were portraying to other people and that's why that energy was coming up I do feel here Virgo that they're kind of trying to let go of the past they've released this they've even tried to forget what has transpired between you and them. I feel like it's you that's really holding on. And that's fine. But what that tells me, Virgo, is there is a need for closure. There is a need to close out this chapter. And so if there is an opportunity that's presented where this person comes in and tries to move things forward because they've forgotten the past, you need to express how you truly feel. That resentment, that betrayal, that feeling as if this person had left and left all of this unfinished business. So let's dive a little bit deeper here into the energy Virgo and see. Again, if you find the messages helpful or resonating, give it a thumbs up. We're going to start with how your person is viewing this challenge in this energy Virgo. And honestly, I feel... If this person does come back, try to apologize, what have you, the energy that's coming out, Virgo, for you is you, your wall would still be up. But I challenge you to try and use this opportunity to close out this chapter, right? To speak what's on your heart. That way you can get it out of the way and move forward. It may be difficult. It may be something that may be hard for you to do. But I promise you, Virgo, it's going to be worth it. So, how is Virgo's person viewing the challenge here in this energy spirit? Please and thank you. Trying to find a way to have a new beginning. The Page of Pentacles is the strategy card. Trying to be strategic. I feel like this person is trying to find a way to express themselves emotionally to you, but having a hard time finding the words. I do feel like this person does want to come forward and have a new beginning with you. I definitely feel that energy. Okay. So just trust the process here, Virgo, um, especially if you aren't open to this new beginning, then stand your ground in that. So it's Virgo's person's true intentions moving forward here, spirit, in this energy. Please and thank you. Death and rebirth. The death energy is on the bottom of the deck. This is a transformation. This is death and rebirth, okay? But I feel here, Virgo, that this is a situation where this person wants to come together and make things work. And again, they're trying to figure out how, how this is going to work, how this is going to come together, okay? I get the sense that what's done is done here. Some of you may be open to reconciling because you still see a future here with this person. And if that's the case, then you need to still close out the past. However, your feeling needs to be out there. Okay. So whatever you're holding on to from the past, you have to let this person know. So you guys can have an opportunity to work together, to come together. 
okay? Otherwise, it's going to be still this bunting heads with one another, not being able to be cohesive. So, Virgo, let's look at anything that's hidden that you need to be made aware of in this energy, please and thank you. Anything that's hidden that Virgo needs to be made aware of. Let that come to the forefront of the reading, please and thank you, Spirit. Okay. So, Virgo, what needs to be said is when you speak your peace and you tell this person how you truly feel, that may open up wounds for them because I feel like what they've been doing is suppressing their emotions. And this may bring up some old wounds and this may be a difficult conversation. Try not to let this turn into a back and forth disagreement about who hurt who more. If you notice that happening, just say, I don't want to have this competition about who hurt who more. We both hurt each other equally. And I'm just letting you know how I felt in that moment. So you can have an understanding of why I am in the position that I am with you. You see what I mean? So don't let it turn into this disagreement, this fighting, this bickering, okay? I feel here if you go in with a calm heart and understanding that you want this to work, then it will work. If you go into this with a heavy heart and just wanting to get things off your chest and moving forward, that's exactly how it's going to play out. So the ball is really in your court, Virgo, when it comes to this situation, So where is this headed in this energy spirit, please and thank you? Where is this headed in this energy? So I feel here, Virgo, that you are on the right path. You just aren't sure about how to proceed here um, with this person because there's still this heaviness, right? There's still this well, this person hurt me or this person walked out or the reason why I walked out is because they were physically unavailable. All of those feelings are valid. Okay, so all of those feelings need to be out there in the open. Um, but I definitely feel here, Virgo, this has potential to work, to come together if that's what you want. Okay, if you want this disagreeing, this fighting, this arguing or... You just want an opportunity to close out the situation. It could turn into a disagreement, but I feel here just getting those feelings, those emotions off your chest will help you to move forward, will help you to release this, to be able to be prepared for something new when it enters. Okay. I definitely feel with all of the cards on the table so far, you both are kind of in the same energy there's still some holding on to whatever transpired in the past, this tower moment. Okay. So that needs to be discussed. That needs to be expressed. It hasn't been, nothing has been said. Nothing has been put out there for you and this person. You both are kind of guarded. Even if this person is portraying like they moved on, they healed so on and so forth. I feel they're just really suppressing the emotions and, and looking at the positive side of life, which isn't true healing. Okay. Healing is confronting those deep, dark emotions, coming to terms, integrating and moving forward. Okay. So trust the process here, Virgo. You are on the right path. When this person comes back around, if you want to close out this chapter, do so. So let's pull a few cards out here for your advice guidance moving forward. Again, this is up in the air. There's a decision that needs to be made here, right, Virgo? And the ball is in your court. So let's look at the advice. Thank you guys again for all the love and support. I am going to do an extended version of the reading, guys. In the extended version, we're going to take a little bit deeper look into what this person would like to say that they're not telling you in the present energy. We'll look at the other influences that are present. Can it be saved? Is it worth it? It's all going down in the extended version and the links are all below. 
Okay. Seven of Swords, Eight of Swords, Ten of Wands, Six of Cups. You see, I definitely feel here, Virgo, there's a need to just close this out and move forward because I feel that this, you guys both are still kind of in the same energy as when you walked away. So coming back together, it's going to be a repeat of the past cycle. In order for this to work, you guys will have to take some time apart and come back together after a significant amount of time apart. Which by then, you could have moved on, they could have moved on. Don't move on with the intention of coming back together. Move on with the intention of healing. If you come back together with this person, then it was meant to be. If not, it's time to move forward. But what the cards are telling you, Virgo, Seven of Swords, they're still hiding. They're still trying to tell you what exactly it is that they think you want to hear and not what's going on, really. This is what's causing you to be up, your, up in your head overthinking all of this whole scenario and making this feel very heavy. Even if at one point there was happiness, right now it's shrouded in darkness and you need to ask yourself, is it worth it? Is it worth it in this energy to come together with this person? So this is interesting, the cards that freaking fell out before I put them back, because there's a lot of them. We have caring connection, indecision, patience, journey, rest and rejuvenate, endure to romance. And then we have heartbroken, broken heart on the bottom. So let's see if any of those cards come out for your energy oracle message, Virgo. I definitely feel like there are feelings here. Both of you have feelings for one another, but there's still this both of you are kind of holding on to the past. And in that energy, it's not going to work. We have Thinking Woman, second chakra. Walking away. All right, Virgo, the Thinking Woman, the Sacral Chakra, the Walking Away. The Sacral Chakra is, the second chakra is your Sacral Chakra. Um, this is the chakra of intimacy. Um, so there's some blockages here that you should probably pay attention to. We have thinking woman. This is something that's heavy on your mind, heavy on your heart. And that's why it's going to be important to utilize this new beginning, this opportunity as closing out this chapter, moving forward into your own new beginning instead of a new beginning for this connection. Okay. I don't feel like this person is coming back in the same, in a different energy. They're coming back the same, very toxic, very back and forth, uncertain about what they want. And that's, what's really causing all the blockages here between you and this person. They're there one minute and gone the next. And this is something that I feel is really causing a disruption here, especially for you, because you're trying to find something more stable. So again, Virgo, I know there's a lot of intense emotions here and I ha at one point there was some love, some emotions. You did want to make this work, but what's coming out in the reading is the energy hasn't shifted quite yet and that's going to be important for that solid foundation to move forward. So Virgo, I do feel like that's a good solid message coming out. The main message that I get is utilizing this opportunity for closure. Some of you are going to want to entertain this person again. And if that's the case, that's fine. That just simply means that the lesson hasn't been received yet in order for you to move forward. Because when you're ready, you're going to be ready. So don't beat yourself up if you're not ready. Do what you feel is best intuitively for you. But understand that it's a potential that the situation could turn out in the same manner because it's coming out in the same energy. So Virgo, thank you guys for all the love and support, for liking, subscribing, sharing the content. You guys are all amazing. Again, if you want to get in on the extended version, links are all below. Otherwise, thank you guys again, and I look forward to seeing your beautiful souls again soon. Namaste.